Hey Katrina and the rest of the crew at Scottsdale Plumbing. This is Brianna from Chipmunk SEO just delivering the video I promised Katrina I would send you guys. Uh, in this video I just wanted to give you three quick tips on ways to improve your website so that you can get discovered by more of your customers online and thus grow your business and get more revenue. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is content. For Google, content is king. You want to have at least 1500 words on the home page and a minimum of 500 words on each back service page. Two big reasons for that. First one is Google needs to know you're legitimate, and the more you talk about your service and your area of expertise, the more that Google's gonna treat you like an expert, and they're gonna rank you accordingly. Um, the second reason is because the more content you have on your website, it increases the likelihood that you're gonna be showing up in the search results for your customers and getting discovered online. So for content, every 100 words of content equals one keyword. So you need to keep that ratio. That also shows you if you're wanting to get pulled up for a lot of keywords being searched online, you need to have a lot of content to support those words. Over here, I've pulled up the Phoenix Plumber keyword. I know you guys service a lot of areas. I just want to use this one as an example for time efficiency. Um, here we have the Google Ads. We can ignore those because people use Ad Blocker and it's not worth the money. Down here we have the Google My Business or the Google Map Pack. If you don't have this set up yet, it's very important to get it set up because this is the easiest way to rank onto the first page of Google and start getting in front of your customers searching for your services. Uh, you need to have your contact information and company information all accurate. And you also are going to want to add some photos. Um, and this leads me into my second topic of of citations. So citations are online directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages, and White Pages. You want to be on as many of those online directories as you can. That's going to help give you a boost here. You want to be in the first three because no one clicks that button. Um, then I continue down into the organic search results. First company is Diamondback Plumbing. So I'm going to use them as your competitor because they are the first company coming up for Phoenix Plumber. Here's what their website looks like. You can see they've got uh, quite a bit of content on the homepage here, and then they've got a lot of content on their back service pages as well. Um, when I'm trying to help my clients build up their business, I use this tool over here. And on this tool, we can see that you guys have 666 backlinks coming from 129 referring domains or websites. So you guys are being mentioned on 129 websites out there 666 times. Might want to at least add one more. <laughs> so out of those 129 websites, only 47 of them allow customers to actually click on a backlink and show up on your page. The rest of them will mention your company, but they don't give an option for customers to click anywhere. Here we can see you guys are ranking for over a thousand keywords, which is good. That's what we like to see. You also are getting an organic traffic of about 348 for all of this combined. Um, you do want these ratings to be equilibrium one to one. They are not currently. So you need to get better authority backlinks. Um, this domain rating is talking about you have some spam and bad links back here. If you're backlinking to companies or websites online, make sure that they're in the same industry as you. You don't want to be backlinking to Pizza Hut or a spammy site from another country, you know? Now going back, I'm actually going to show you your competitor over here. As we can see, they've got quite a few backlinks, um, a good amount of domains as well. They're running up on keywords too from where you guys are. They've got quite a few more. Um, now, they still don't have that equal rating, though. So some of their backlinks are bad, but some of them are giving a high quality, too. So we would go in and we'd want to take those. We can see what organic keywords they are ranking on here as well. And you can see what they're in the first position for. We know at least Phoenix Plumber. Plumbing Company Phoenix, they're in the first position for. That's getting 30 searches a month. So they're getting not very much traffic on that. And... Water softener installation, Phoenix, 30, and they're in the first position, so they're getting 10. And that's a big thing to think about. With your keywords, I'm going to go back over here for yours. With your keywords, you want to be ranking on local area keywords. So plumbing supply near me, you're in the fifth position. It's getting searched 88,000 times, and that's a big number because that's a national keyword. 
People all over the country are searching plumbing supply near me. You want people looking up plumbing supply Arizona, plumbing supply Phoenix, plumbing supply Scottsdale, plumbing supply Gilbert. Kind of get what I mean? Uh, it needs to be in your area. That way we know that this, the search is happening are actual potential customers. So here's Plumber Scottsdale. That's getting searched 200 times, and you guys are in the first position. And that type of authority is giving you 59 traffic. So out of those 200 people, 59 of them are clicking to your site because they need a plumber in Scottsdale. That's what we really want. Um, you're also first for Scottsdale Plumbing. There's 200 searches happening, and you guys are getting 34 of that traffic. That's great. A lot of your ranking is coming for Plumber Scottsdale, and that has to do with the company name as well, Scottsdale Plumbing plumbing. So your guys' company name is Scottsdale Plumbing, but with the 200 searches happening each month, you guys are in the second position, so you're only getting 15 traffic. Um, considering it's your company name, I think it's really pertinent that you guys be the first one to rank for that name, uh, for that keyword. It just makes more sense. So what I would do to help with my clients who are like, okay, well, we're doing kind of good, but how are we supposed to get that growth? I use a copycat method. So I see what the competitors are doing right that's increasing their traffic more than my clients. And I'll go into their competitor site here, find the high-ranking authoritative links and websites, and I'll use that copycat method to take them and put them on my client's site. Okay? All right. And yep, so that's about it for the video. We covered that you guys need to get some more content and how the keywords operate with content. Um, for an added bonus for keywords, if you have photos on your website, go ahead, before you upload your photos, make sure you're using keywords for the file names, okay? That's gonna help you get pulled up in the searches as well. We went over that you guys need more authoritative backlinks, not spamming backlinks. And then you guys need to have that Google My Business set up with a lot of citations. So that's it for now. If you guys implement these steps, you're going to see a lot of growth happening and you're going to start getting a lot more calls coming in just like your competitors. Um, if you have questions on how to do it, please reach out to me. I will be following up with you guys after this video because I want to hear your feedback on it. Uh, it takes time for me to record these and I don't like wasting my time or anyone else's. So I need to know if these videos are worthwhile and have value. Um, thank you so much for letting me send this to you and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.